You are about to witness one of the most extraordinary friendships in history. A rare bromance between the two most polarizing figures in the world. China's Xi Jinping and Russia's Vladimir Putin. We just had some vodka together and carved some sausage. It was after a full day's work. And President Xi came. Just look at them sharing such sweet moments every time they are together. Who you see right now are two dictators learning how to make dumplings, cooking pancakes, giving gifts to each other. May it be a jar of honey, two giant pandas, jewelry. And like many friends do, they also go on trips. Whether it's a luxurious train ride where Xi Jinping shows off China to Putin. Every time I take a train, I get a romantic feeling. Or a boat ride where Putin shows Xi Jinping his hometown in Russia. And guess what? They even celebrated their birthdays together. President Xi is the only state leader who has celebrated my birthday with me. I've never had such relationship or arrangement with any other foreign colleague, but I did with President Xi. While on Xi Jinping's birthday, Putin was sweet enough to surprise him with a special ice cream cake flown all the way from Russia. And get this, despite being the highest officials of the two largest nations in the world, and despite their busy schedules, they really managed to meet in person for about 40 times in the last nine years. Hello. <laughs> There is no denying, these two dictators are best friends. Xi Jinping said it himself. No wonder he gave Putin China's highest state award, the Friendship Medal. And in case you have no idea how special it is, it was the first time in China's history that the Friendship Medal was awarded to someone. Everything you've just seen might have made you ask, is there a deeper, perhaps more alarming meaning to this friendship? What could this friendship mean to the world? Because you and I both know, there is a higher game being played that we don't know about yet. But however you feel about this kind of friendship, it's fascinating to see two world leaders being so casual with each other, knowing that each one of them is is responsible for so many bad things happening in the world at this very moment. One who started a war and one who's doing things that are clearly inhumane, like the Uyghur concentration camps, for example. So, in all of this, I just hope for one thing, Nightfam. I hope these two best friends will never use their friendship to team up against the rest of the world.